I bet you it's an emerald. Now that I think about it. Bet you that's what it is. Bet you that is what it is. Okay. Can't heal out. It can't out heal me, baby. Five. Uh, let's go to a fishing spot. I'll catch some fish. Make some. Yo, 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 everybody. What's going on? It's Lotus here. Back where we left off in the last episode of Pine Lily Village. We're going to check this out. And uh, yeah, if you guys didn't end up enjoying the last one, Make sure you guys uh, definitely tap that like button if you guys end up enjoying this one. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. I do greatly appreciate it. It does, did show that 97% uh, of you guys are not subscribed, so every little bit counts. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, do that. Also, if you guys uh, did not check out the last episode, make sure you guys go check it out. Lots happened. And uh, yeah, you guys uh, would have missed the first three days of this if you guys uh, continue going on. So make sure you guys go check it out and then uh, come back when, uh, yeah, when you're done. Uh, let's see. I think we need... Okay, so these we can't harvest yet. Okay. Looks like we might be able to harvest them tomorrow. That's fine. That's fine. Thought we would have been able to harvest it, but it's okay. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to go to the mine this time. But yeah, this is a Pine Lily Village, if you guys are new here. Um, it's like a... Uh... Oh, here we go! Here we go! Hey there, hope you're settling in well. It's like a, it's a farming sim, so like, very similar to Stardew Valley. I wanted to talk to you about the opportunity that I will, uh, that I think you'll be interested in. Come walk with me to the mountain entrance, okay? I'm sure you know the mountain here is a major focal point in our magical power in the region. That much concentrated magical energy has attracted many dangerous creatures to the mountain, okay? Part of my job as a ranger is to make sure no creatures leave the mountain. Part of my job is to make anyone wishing to enter the mountain to prepare for what lies within. Mountain use the old mining operation. Okay. Nice. Why would anyone want to enter the mountain filled with dangerous creatures, you ask? Well, because of the rare and valuable resources within the mountain, of course. I know for a fact there are rare metals and precious gems that would be useful on your farm. To that end, I want to make sure that you're ready for what awaits you in the mountain before I'll allow you in freely. Need food? Uh, very few ways to heal yourself while in the mountain, so you'll have to bring your own supplies. Okay, talk to Garen. I'm sure he can help you out. Second, you need a magical way to defend yourself. Talk to Lady Valeska. I'm sure she can point you in the right direction. Okay, learning the ropes. Okay, so we still can't enter yet until we talk to Lady Valeska and Garen. Okay. So T Tona wants you to be able to... I still don't know how to say her name. Yourself through the magical means. I'm going to take you to study under expert tutelage. Give me a moment to think. Okay. do da do da do 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 Yes, I think this could work. Perhaps your spirit companion can help you out. I'm already attuned to the magic of the area, which might allow you to channel the concentrated magic of the mountain through special spells. Spells. Rather experimental, so you'll need limited in spell choice until you've gained more experience. I'll be able to create more spells for you in the future. However, creating spells is a costly affair, so I'll ask you for a moment. Uh, monetary compensation. Of course you will. Please walk over here and select your spells at the lectern. Oh. Increase your combat skill level 4. Now available in the demo. Okay, so you can get these ones, but this isn't available in the demo. Okay. Consume item. Deals 15 damage to any enemy. Damage is tripled if you are shadowed, but it costs 2,000. Okay. So I'll take all of them. Okay, interesting. Damage is doubled if enemy is soaked. Has a chance to inflict soaked for three rounds. Deals no damage, but has a high chance to inflict soaked on all enemies for two rounds. Oh, okay, interesting. Swap spells by clicking on a spellbook slot and then selecting a spell below. Okay. I'd like to encourage you to experiment with different spells once you've gained more experience with casting. 
Elemental spells have unique synergies that would behoove you to explore. Feel free to return to the lectern to exchange spells whenever you wish. Okay, well, before we do that, we need to hit level 3. Or level 2. Talk to Garen yet? Uh, we do need 3,000 gold, though, as well, if we want to upgrade any of our tools. I'll talk to Garen in a second. Karen and I love to travel, met each other, time he's heading north and I was on the... Okay, we decided to travel together one day for a day or two until we hit the next village. As you can see, those few days lasted quite a while. Nice. Montana's in the mountain. Well, I'm glad Tona told you to get the supplies. Here are many different benefits that food can give you, other than being delicious, of course. Many cooked dishes boost your health or energy, but also beneficial side effects of certain dishes. No one of the village elder not too far from here who swears it can counteract negative magical effects. Never tried it myself, but I'm happy to share the recipe with you. Oh, I was actually experimenting with the recipe last night, and okay, give me some cake with it, can, uh, extra health elixirs around. Need them on occasion. Beverage related accidents in the tavern. Okay. Happy to help. Some health elixirs. Haven't needed any for years. Some leftovers of the river medley Garen made last night as well. Sweet. So we got food and elixirs. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go do this. We could go buy a book and see what that's all about, too. But I'll hold off. I don't want to spend all of our money yet. 1400 bucks for a book is quite a bit. Excellent! I see you've talked with Garen and Lady Valeska. Now on to the fun part. <coughs> oh, boy. But my office here, I have a training room where you can try out those new spells. It's filled with practice dummies to let you get comfortable with casting. After you've defeated your... at least one practice dummy, we'll talk about entering the mountain itself. Okay. Let's go do this. Whoa, this is cool. So I want to soak. Oh, interesting. And then I want to deal 20 damage to all enemies. Okay, that's huge. Doubled up there. And turn. Practice dummy, use tips, bring cooking dishes for healing. You won't be able to heal until after you defeat each enemy on the floor. You can have more than one spell element equipped at a time. Experiment with different elements combinations. Be careful, you can inflict status effects on your enemies, but they also inflict status effects on you. Okay. Okay. Yep, already knew that. Already knew that. Already knew that. Okay, I feel pretty good. Cool. Well done, you think you're a real thing now. Open the mountain entrance every morning, but I lock it in the evening, so make sure you enter on time. I have a few more things to explain, so please meet me inside the mountain. After that, I promise you'll be able to dive right in. Okay, cool. Sweet! It's still sort of the morning, so let's head on up. The abandoned mine. Enter level one. Okay, this is the last area before you're in the mountain proper. Uh, to enter deeper, you'll need to go through this door. Be warned, the mountain is very changing and difficult to navigate. Once you leave a room, you won't be able to go back, so be careful as you may get your way through to the end. I've also heard that creatures inside only get stronger the deeper you go. As I just demonstrated, this crystal structure is the only way you can exit the mountain. Oh, if you see one, you can use it to teleport back to this room. You'll encounter many of these as in your journey through the mountain, okay? But be warned, once you teleport back, you won't be able to enter the mountain again until the following day. Congratulations, you may freely enter the mountain. I wish you luck and happy hunting. Okay, uh, quest complete, sweet. Let's uh, let's head on in. These gems are too small to be of value, okay. So this is a fishing area? Whoa! Oh, we got a new lure! Increases the chance for higher quality fish, but also increases arrow speed. Sure, why not? Let's check it out. I think you can fish till these dis disappear, but it takes a while. Oh, and time does freeze when you're fishing. Okay, that's good to know. It looks like we got a bug room next, or combat next. Rocky fish. 
I think I'm going to go for the bug room next. It's going to be my, uh, the next route to take. Sunrise Kelp. Okay, interesting. Didn't have that before. Fish that lived in the mountain are elusive to only, you have three chances to catch at least, uh, catch at each fishing spot. Okay, so you only can catch three times in each fishing spot. Oh, it looks like we got an artifact right there too. Okay, I'll get that artifact after we fish these three times and see what fish we get. Okay. Do da do da do 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 da. I wish fishing would speed up a little bit though. Speed uh, fishing is definitely a little tedious. That's for sure. That is for sure. We'll sell a rocky fish. Hopefully we can make some good money from it. Okay. Yeah, this definitely is a little tedious. Holy smokes, dude. Like, geez louise. Taking a hot minute there. Uh, spiral shell, we didn't have that one before. Oh, that one was quick. Ooh, I... Uh... Oh, we got it. I was a little skeptical on trying it, but we got it. And rocky fish again. Let's grab the hoe. Candles. Abandoned candles. Okay, cool. Uh, let's open this up. Looks our, like our inventory is full. But let's hide our tools. I don't think I need them necessarily. I don't think I need the egg coins either, but I'll hold on to them until like we don't need them anymore. I want to try uh, check this area out. We meet again. Didn't expect to see you here. This mountain has a rather odd relationship with time and space, wouldn't you say? So much fun. Never quite sure when you'll find the, out the lanterns, but you'll be able to find them in, if you look properly. New riddles for you, of course. Time to play. Careful down here. We'd hate to lose our favorite human. Bye-bye for now. Green and precious, a sight to behold. A symbol of wealth, of stories untold. Money? Or like... A book, maybe? Gelatinous and wiggly, a delight to the eyes, shaded, regal, and grand, a colorful surprise. Well, this is some sort of food. Okay. Combat or a mining area? Let's go to the mining area. And let's grab our pick. Do a bunch of mining. This is, I think, where you get your money from. Like, you can make a lot of money from this stuff, I believe. So, yeah, we're going to mine up. As much as we can. Because I believe this is what you make your money from. From uh, some other people's videos I've watched. You can make a lot of money from mining. Like, or even fighting. I think there's some fighting too. Okay, um... There's a star? Or... A sword. Let's check out the star. What's the star about? Oh, the star is like a little uh, puzzle, it looks like. Okay, this is cool. This is super cool. Okay. Interesting. Hey, you get stuck reset the mine cards by pulling the lever at the crane. Okay, well, I got it. What do we get out of it? Chest is open. Go see what's inside. Anything good? Ten emeralds. Holy smokes, dude. Okay, now it looks like we have some combat. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's fight, baby. Soak. Uh, get you. Can't cast, okay. Deal 10 damage, okay. Deal 10 damage, okay. Uh, let's grab you. Killed you. Let's grab this guy. Okay. 10 damage. I believe you get some good, uh, some good stuff from these guys as well. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, crystallized slime, seven of them. Um, 
Let's heal. No, let's store tools. Let's grab this guy. Uh, sure, I guess it doesn't really matter which one. Oh, it looks like each one is this. Well, we can't go deeper anyway. I mean, we could go deeper. But the problem is, is we don't have a lot of inventory space. So let's let's go out. Let's let's head out and uh, go and sell the stuff. I think we need. I'm gonna keep one of each gem to see if we can open that chest that's up top here. Um, let's dump you, dump you, um, dump you and dump you. I'm gonna keep this guy on us. Um, I want to keep you. Keep one of you. Keep one of you. Keep one of you. And then, yeah, I'm going to sell those as well. Hopefully make some good money from all this. Sell, 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 sell. Warning, you're going to sell an artifact you haven't shown Eric yet. I am. What is it? What are the artifacts? Can I see? Sunrise kelp. Oh, a tuned crystal probably. You know what? Let's let's grab that shell first. In case, uh, just in case, maybe let's grab one of these as well. I don't think we're going to need it, but I'll hold on to it. Um, we could sleep, but let's, uh, let's just wait a sec. Chop down some trees. Oh, we have the, uh. Stamina to do so for the moment. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I think I can chop down this tree and one more. Warning, if you don't go to sleep before the night is over, you'll faint. Okay. Guess we're going to sleep now. Yeah, windy day tomorrow, okay? Let's head to bed. Don't want to faint. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. Three rocky fish. 45 each, not too bad. 160 fire topaz. 160 emeralds. Crystalline slimes, only 50 each. Iron ore, not, not really worth it. Oh my gosh, dude. That was crazy. Oh, we got mail! Harvest your crop, you must use your hands. Do not equip a tool. Okay. Healthy elixir. Congrats on finishing uh, Tona's trial and being allowed to enter the mountain freely. I want to give you the recipe for the healthy elixir we, you use during the trial. The insects that are found in the mountain have superior restorative properties. I promise. Okay, cool. Sweet! Okay, let's see. So let's... um. I guess dump all of you in here. I want to take you out, you out, you out. We're going to go to Eric. See if any of this matters to him. Let's grab our... This guy. Come over here. Boom, 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 boom. This should, I believe, level up our farming. Okay, they can't har harvest that yet, or that yet. Coral root? I think we can make coral root sticks, right? Yeah! Can also make trial snacks. So let's make, uh, like, three of these, I guess? Four of these? Five of these. Oh, you must perform a manual craft first before you can do auto craft. Okay. Fill up the largest progress bar before running out of inspiration points. The quality of the dish is imp is imp is improved by adding progress into... Okay. 
Bottom quality bars, okay. Use the cook action to increase cooking progress. The amount of progress in each quality bar increases the chance to get a higher quality item. Okay. Fifteen cost. Level of your cooking skill to unlock. Increase cooking progress. Moderately increase silver quality progress. Increases effectiveness of the cook action, but prevents silver and gold quality progress increases for the rest of the craft. Holy smokes. So let's do you. 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 Okay. Craft failed. Interesting. So, why do you? What? So I can't. Interesting. So I can't. Hmm. I want to try something real quick. So what if I do you? Oh no, you, you, you. Oh, I see now. Interesting. I don't know why it doesn't show up down here. But now I can do... Okay, okay, interesting. A bright and sunny day tomorrow. We don't have melons. Classic timepiece. Whatever the flip that means. Okay, we need melons. Oh, I do want to grab... Well, let's come over here. Sell you... Sell you, sell you. Hold on to those. We could go upgrade our inventory. Um, I want to grab this, this, and this. I want to go check something out. I want to see if we can... Oh, again? Warning, all dropped items will be lost if not retrieved before sleeping. Okay, well then I'll just dump these in here. And pick you up. That's simple. I want to come up here and check out this chest. Can these minerals that we picked up go into here? Oh, it do they all three of them do! You found an old journal inside the locked chest, but don't recognize the language. Perhaps someone in the village can help you out. Okay. That's sweet. This gold bracelet probably sells for a lot, but I don't know if that's an artifact, so I'm going to hold on to it for the moment. I don't know if that's an artifact, and I don't want to I don't want to sell it and just waste it. I don't want to sell it and just waste it. Um, I do want to come in here, though. She's out there. Can I help you with something? Yes, a old journal. Looks pretty old. I can't read the language, but I think I've seen it before when traveling with my father. Years and years ago, I remember being in the north. Can't believe it. Talking to Finn. Uh, village north of the mountain. Okay. Guess we can't talk to her. That's cool. Don't worry. I, I didn't want to talk to you anyways. Let's come down here. Oh, she has a quest for us. I have a proposition for you. I would like you to fix the broken ritual stone next to your farmhouse. Ritual stone in my house, but the one at your farm is far older and more powerful than mine. If you don't know, ritual stones can use channel magic in attuned crystals to transmute raw materials into more useful ones. Ah, okay, okay. I'm sure you and the other villagers, including myself, could find that most useful, no? 
Now, in order to repair the ritual stone, I need you to find a few things. First, I need a frame to hold the ritual stone piece together. While I perform the needed enchantments, Finn should be able to help us with this. Then bring me five attuned crystals. These are found deep within the mountain. While the creatures in the mountain are quite hostile with the spells and wits, I'm sure you'll be fine. Once you have the frame and the crystals procured, I will perform the enchantments to restore your ritual stone. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Seems easy. Seems easy enough. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's come down here. Wait, Yuri was the one that suggested we move to Pine Lily Village after I graduated the academy? Time away from the city would do us good. I think she's right. How can I help you? I'm artifact turn. Great, let me see what you got. Got this. Yeah, saying, where would you like to place it? Right here. Uh, how can I help you? I have an artifact to turn in. Let me see what you got. Think this guy? Best name, where would you like to place it? This is an artifact. Cool. Save. How can I help you? I think I have an artifact to turn in. Great, let me see what you got. Called Brissa. Best name, where would you like to place it? Okay. Uh, I think I have an artifact to turn in. Great, let me see what you got. Okay, not an artifact. Best name, where would you like to place it? Fascinating! How would you like... I think I have an artifact! I don't think I have any new artifacts to show me. Okay, I guess I don't. I wasn't sure! I'm glad he tells you that you don't have it. I heard you bought some sundrop seeds recently. I can't wait for those to bloom. They're my favorite spring flower. I'm trying to figure... Okay. I want to read. See what that's all about. To read a book, go to your farmhouse and place the book on the bookshelf above your bed. Okay. Hey, looking for me? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm guessing you'd like me to translate this? Hmm, let's see. This appears to be a journal entry discussing different uses for trees. There's a particularly interesting section about a tree harvester of sorts. At least that's the best I can translate. Oh, interesting. This journal is actually written in an older dialect that... When I grew up with, only our village elders spoke this. Journal to Jerund, he should be able to help better translate this. Okay. Need a wooden frame? I can definitely do that. 20 pieces should be enough. Using wood from your farm should reduce the vi uh, variables Lady Veleska has to consider for her enchantments. At least I think so. Eric, about magic of this area, and I picked up a thing or two. Okay, cool. So he wants 20 wood. We need to go to Jerund, and we need to go head back into the mine. Uh, those two don't really have anything for us. No quests or anything. It's just chatting with them. And there's no, like, relationship status uh, based on this yet. I don't know if that'll be implemented or not. But, uh, yeah, there's no need to for us to even worry about doing that since there's none of that yet. I do want to come in here, though, and see this. I do want to buy more sugar melon. Buy ten more. I, I do want to go back to Finn as well. Because I believe we can... I'm going to talk to you. I don't have the wood. How can I help you? I want to buy something from you. I want to buy inventory upgrade. Ah! Sweet. Inventory upgrade again, but it's 9,000. Increase your storage capacity. That could be huge. Upgrades the crafting bench on your farm. Okay. So now if we press Q, oh yeah, we got another row. Let's go. We can go deeper into the mines this time. Too easy, baby. Too easy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's grab uh, this guy out. Just for when we get back here. I'm going to plant these seeds. And... Okay, let's water since we didn't do that yet. Okay, okay. Knock this all out. Does it count if you water the same spot twice? Sure does. Looks like you can only water it twice, though. So you can only misclick once. <laughs> Interesting, okay. Uh, let's head back up here. Talk to Jerund. 
What do you want? Oh, way to be rude, man. I said this is about, uh, about a tree harvester? Huh, well, he's not entirely wrong. This journal entry is about a tree trapper. It's a device you place on trees to easily collect tree sap. Sap can be refined for many different uses in cooking and crafting. I see you've been dedicated to improving your fishing skill. Good, here is the instructions for making a tree trapper. Okay, cool. Oh! We can make a tree trapper now! Materials needed to craft this recipe require your ritual stone to be repaired. Try talking to Lady Valeska. Alright, well, I'm in the process of doing that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go grab some wood to take to Finn. Um, 20, I think it was? 20 wood. Um, I only have two attuned stones. We can sell the rest of this stuff other than the attuned stones. I want to keep those. Um, I'm going to grab these guys. For potentially selling or going into the mine. Let's grab this book. Confirm. This guy. Confirm. Confirm. And then I want to read it. This cover of a drawing figure. Long ago in a field there lived two friends. An ant and a beetle. The ant was very hard working and spent time saving food for the winter. But the beetle was lazy and only laid in the sun all day. Okay. Uh, sure I'll keep going. Every time the beetle would say come relax in the sun with me. The ant would reply I need to save your food for the winter. So I'm not hungry. Uh, and it's cold and dark. Beetle would only shrug and continue to the sunbathe. Um, I think... Oh, it's too late. Keep reading. Okay, stop. I guess I'll stop. It's too late. Time really passes when you're reading. Holy smokes. Time passes really fast when you're having fun, eh? Farm level level 4. 777 gathering. 35 from Coral Root. Flame bugs, 185 each. Okay, that's pretty nice. And dangerous repair. Active quests. Okay, what's, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Be a bright and sunny day tomorrow. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm not going to worry about doing any of that. Let's come out here. Oh, we got... Uh... Thank you. Thank you for helping me with the museum lately. I noticed that you've landed in. Uh, I left them a gift for you. Above your farm. Ben said to use this to the village growing up. Okay. Left them a gift for you. Oh, okay. Congratulations on your far first harvest. You sell your crops by placing them in the wooden crate next to your house. Oh, and don't forget to come back to my shop to buy more seeds once the profits start rolling in. All right, will do. Okay. So, plant all this. Looks like our sun seeds are almost there. What are all these bad boys? Actually, I think I can. Yeah, I think I, I thought I could do that. Okay, I'll just sell you. Sell you, sell you, sell you. Yeah, let's go check out the lantern spirits and see what they have for us, if anything. Well, hello there. Seems like you've been keeping good company. We got some tasty treats. Yes, a bespeckled human brought us a, a gift. Oh, it looks like we got a new one. As the spring sun shines with delight, it blooms so full. Its petals orange, a beautiful sight. Okay, so that's probably the sun bloom, would be my guess. Like, let, let's, come on, come on. So that means the other one, at the other um, lantern in town, means that that one's probably not... That, that means that one's probably not... Um, the sun bloom. So I don't know what it could be. Let's go down to Finn. So reading the books past time fairly quickly. You have the wood? Sure do, pal. Let's be able to construct a sturdy frame for you. You can tell Lady Valeska it will be ready as soon as possible. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that yet because I need to get the five attuned crystals for her. So we're going to go down into the mine, baby. Into the mine. First thing in the morning. Abandoned mine. Level one. I wonder how many levels there are to the mine. I want to try and make it to level two this time. Okay, combat right off the get-go. Uh, I think I can do this one. 20 damage. Do this guy. 10 damage. Oh, so close. 
Okay, so eight damage to me, okay. I do have a healing pot, so I'm not too worried. Two crystallines from that guy. Uh, let's go to the mining area. Because this is where we make all of our money, baby. I mean, this one sort of sucks because we only have a bunch of iron here. We do have an attuned crystal, which is what we're here for. But I would have loved some uh, emeralds or something for some more cash money. Okay. Looks like it takes three to break these rocks as well, which is good. So it doesn't take any more than uh, was before. But, yeah, because, like, these are... The iron's only worth, I think, 50. It's stone only gives you stone, so there's no point in mining the stone. Oh, this... Okay, it's this guy. Green and precious, a sight to behold. Yep, uh, gelatinous and wiggly. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Oh, green and precious! I bet you it's an emerald! Oh, snap! I bet you it's an emerald. Now that I think about it. Bet you that's what it is. Bet you that is what it is. Okay. Can't heal out. It can't out heal me, baby. Five. Uh, let's go to a fishing spot. I'll catch some fish. Make some. Ooh, we got a rare one. I'll make some cash money, dude. We got an insane amount of space. So I'm not worried at all, man. Not worried at all. We got this. Looks like we got two mining spots. Which ones would be better? Left or right? Left or right? Or no, that neither of them are mining spots. It's the uh it's the crystal to get out, which we're not gonna take this time. So we can catch three fish from these areas. Uh depends on how long these fish take to catch. Like I do like how the time up here doesn't tick down when you're fishing. But holy shnikes, does it uh take a hot minute. Take a hot minute. Sunrise kelp. I don't care too much for. I like to catch stuff that I haven't caught before. That'd be nice. Okay. And more sunrise kelp. I wonder if we change our lure if it gives us something else. You know? A rock fish. Okay, that little guy disappeared. Let's come over here and catch this guy. Need a better fishing pole to cast for this type of fish. Gosh dang it. So we need to upgrade our fishing pole. This is a puzzle room, I believe. Yep, 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 yep. Sure is. Okay, let's do this guy here. This guy here. Let's come up and around. Push you down. Nope. Push you down. Push you over. Push you down. Down or up, either or work there. Push it across. Bada bing. Cha ching. Dude, if we got 10 emeralds again, that would be insane. Ooh, 10 fire topaz. Okay, let's go back in here. Ooh, we got lots of attuned crystals this time. Lots of attuned crystals. We got... Six, it looks like, potentially. So we got six out of this. Pretty good in my eyes. I mean, the other thing though, we got a ton of iron, which sort of sucks in a way. Because, like, what is that? 11. 50 is what? 500 is 10. Yeah, not great. Not great. Let's press on. Ooh! Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's take out this guy. Uh, we don't. Oh, we took out two! Okay. That's huge. I forgot that that's a uh, AoE attack. I forgot that this one's AoE. Damage is doubled if enemy is soaked. 20 damage to all enemies. Take that guy out. Three dire wings and one crawler leg. Okay. Looks like we're fighting again. Let's try and soak again. Okay, we soaked everybody. And then we'll do this. Okay, not bad. We didn't wipe anybody out, but that's okay. Need to take out this guy because he does healing. Nine damage to you, okay. Uh, let's see, 30 damage. So I can do this, and then this, and this. Cool, and then we can wipe this guy out. Next round. 
Should be able to. Boom. And boom. Too easy, dude. Too easy. Two rock claw, four crystalline, one crawler eyes, and one crawler leg. Okay. Um, oh, what is a double cross? Oh. Okay. They must be like enchanted people. Wipe this guy out at least. Okay. Now all we have left is a spider. I don't think he can kill us. No. Whew. Elite key half acquired. Find and defeat one more elite combat room to receive the other elite key uh, half to be able to open the elite chest after the boss. Okay. Okay. Made it to floor two, though. Oh, so this, this must be the uh, boss room? That must be the boss room. You know what? Can we eat? Or can we heal? Can we enter this? Bosses have very powerful. You need healing items to defeat the boss. Are you sure they want to proceed? Sure. Oh, crap. 500 HP. We probably shouldn't have came in here. We're not going to win this. We're not going to win this. Okay. 24 damage. Yikes. Yeah, these are just energy. Yeah, we're, we're gonna die here. That's a bummer. It's a huge bummer. Yeah, 24 damage. I'm down to 270, though. Yeah, you fainted. Dang it. Mysterious forces carries you back home. Do we lose everything? We don't lose everything in our inventory, thank god. I got approved from the Arnfell City Council to start issuing bounties for our village. Stop by my house when you can and I'll explain more. Okay, that's actually huge. Let's throw all this stuff in here. Keep the attunements. Actually, bounties? I should probably keep this stuff. In case we need it. Sell the rest of that, though. Okay. Let's grab the watering can. Let's water all this. Okay. Dang, that was a bummer. I mean, it makes sense, though. Like, we, we weren't ready. We went in with 50 HP. We got it down to 250, so maybe if we try it today, we can get it. Maybe. Um. Oh, there's a little wood uh, thing there. That's cool. Um. Let's sell you as well. Um. 108. Hope you've had the time to settle in because the village temple is finally open again. Just having you here as please temple spirits. Please follow me, and I'll take you to the temple and explain further. Okay. This is the village temple. It has unfortunately been neglected over the years, but I'm confined that uh, with your help, you can bring it back to its former glory. Whoa, okay. That's cool. Don't worry, these are the temple spirits. They protect the temple and provide blessings to the village. They are here because of the magics in the mountain attracts them, but they require offerings to thrive. There may be offering altars in the temple, and once you've offered enough, I'm sure the spirits will have the power they need to repair the temple. They may even give you a blessing if you are lucky. I need to go back to my shop now, but please stay and look around. I wonder what the blessings are. Inspect the altar on the left side near the temple to provide the offering. Oh! 
Oh, 100 gold, 500 gold, 1,000 gold, 2,000 gold. Offer? Make sure they want to offer. Offer. Complete all to receive a reward. Okay, well, I'll do 500 as well. Can't do these two, but interesting. Okay. What about over here? Not available for this demo. Okay, so it looks like only that one is available for the time being. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Oh, we got the traveling merchant here! Okay. Well, hello! You must be a new farmer! My name is Ingrid, and the hungry lump behind me is Arn. I travel around selling goods to anyone interested. Through my stock is limited. I visit the village here regularly, so keep an eye out for my car. I'm always up for sharing a story or two. Coral root, fire cane, sun drop petals, a smooth plank. Change me from wood useful for crafting more refined items such as furniture. Okay. I do want to buy one of these, though. Um, who do I need to go to? I need to go to Lady Valeska. I need to visit her. You hand in these attuned stuff. Good, Finn was able to help us out. You have the attuned crystals for me. I sure do. Quite powerful indeed. Well done. Now what? Well, everything is ready. We should go to your farm and repair the ritual stone. Okay. Now with these attuned crystals, I'll fuse the ritual stone back together. Boom, baby! Everything went smoothly as expected. Your ritual stone is now repaired. That was easy. Quest complete! Heck yeah, dude! And we finished all the quests. E, iron bar we can make. Gold bar, smooth plank. Okay, cool. Smooth plank takes two and crystal. <coughs> Gold we haven't got. Iron bar we can make as well. Syrup. Interesting. So I'm curious. If we make an iron bar... I want to try something real quick. I want to try something. So if we take this iron... We do this. Okay, so this actually takes time to craft here. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go check on uh, Jorund. Jorund. See if he has anything for me. Nope, no quests of sorts. Okay. I do like how it ticks even off it, though you're not off the screen to let you know that, like, it's ticking down. Okay, we got three iron bars. Can we craft anything with it? No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I believe this one was this guy, right? Base set, sundrop petals. Okay, let's see what we get from that. So when you faint, you wake up with half uh, half going on there. Okay, interesting. Oh, I need to talk uh, to, to Tona? Tona for the uh, bounties. I believe sh she's the one I need to talk to. Yeah, the bounty board. Here we go. Finally got approval from the Arnfeld City Council to start issuing bounties for our village. If you fulfill a bounty, you're rewarded with gold. I will be issuing three new bounties every week. So make sure you check back occasionally to see if you can catch your eye, if anything catches your eye. Oh, and when you complete a bounty, the gold will be automatically rewarded to you during your usual nightly shipment. So no need to come back to me to turn them in. Okay, heavy hunting. Oh, that's super easy. Kill five of these guys expires in five days. I'll take that. Back. Um, next, collect three rockfish. Okay, I'll collect that. Oh, and three, two, okay. So I can only do one? That's a bummer. So, she said the 400 gold. I have the attuned crystals. Okay. Um. Oh, this is new. New bounties available, okay. Fought these three. Seven days. Okay. 
So she said that they return each night? Does that mean... I'm curious. Collect three attuned crystals. I have three attuned crystals. Do I have to put it in here? Oh, I have two attuned crystals. Well, looks like we're going to the mine, baby! <laughs> Oh, I don't want to sell you. I'll sell... I'll sell all that. I'll take the rockfish. Take the attuned crystal. Yeah, I'll sell those. Actually, I'll take the rockfish. I'll throw it back over here. I'll grab you. Invaluable for combat. Remove one round of all negative status effects. Okay, I don't really need that, actually. What can I, can I use to health? I need sugar melon salad. Oh, and sun drop petals. Oh, snap. Okay. We're not going to fight the boss this time because we're not going to win. We're not going to win if we fight the boss. So I'm just going to go into the mine, try and find some attuned crystals and sell them. That's our mission, I guess. So it looks like you need to beat the boss to go to level two, I'm assuming. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Do that. Do this. Do this. Yep, that's fine. Do this. And this. Okay, you're done. You're done! Or I'll go to the star. Even though... Okay, star is this guy. I forgot about that. Okay. I'm, I probably don't even have to push that one, to be honest with you. Easy, dude. Give us 10. Oh, I forgot to bring an emerald. Crap. Hopefully we get an emerald from this. Nope, fire topaz. That's fine. They sell for a good, a decent chunk. Nothing too crazy. And uh, no emeralds here either. That's okay. No, attu no attuned either. Oh, but we got a giant chest, which is nice. Amethyst. A couple of amethyst and a bunch of iron. I wonder if they sell more if they're uh, if they're attuned to iron bars. Okay, let's open this up. What we got here? Logs? Ah, uh, fifteen logs. That's a bummer. Hmm. I don't know if fishing. Eh, we'll try it. But oh, we got three smaller ones. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't know if fishing's worth it. But since we got three small ones, or three common ones, I should say, it's definitely worth it. We could go this way to find the, um, the enchantment, uh, one. The enhanced, uh, peeps. The enhanced monsters. But I think I want to actually go this way in mine. Since we're looking for tuned crystals for the bounty. So. We'll try it. See what we got going on here. See what we got going on here. Oh, we got a golden kelp. That's new. That is it new. Let's see if we can get some like silver kelp. I think silver kelp's the only one we haven't gotten. Rockfish. Also like a silver uh, silver and gold rockfish we haven't got either. Silver kelp and silver and gold rockfish we haven't got. So if we can get those, that'd be pretty sweet. Definitely going to be a longer episode. Hope you all have been enjoying the content. So make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts. And I do, uh, once again, greatly appreciate all the subscribers. Hey, we got a gold rockfish. Um, as we are trying to approach 1,000 subscribers, so every little bit counts. Um, so if you guys look down there and you guys aren't subscribed, and if you made it this far, make sure you guys tap that subscribe button. Um, I'll greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys comment on the video and what you guys think of the game, um, I, I reply back to every single one. So every little bit counts. If you guys made it this far, let me know down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll reply back to you guys. Also, if you guys... Oh, crap. Also, if you guys... Um, also, um, oh, I completely forgot. If you guys want to join my little community, uh, there's a Discord link down below. You guys can join. Um, I'm trying to build up a small little community over there and whatnot. 
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. But yeah, every, every little bit helps uh, as we push towards a thousand subscribers. Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we'll be able to hopefully start uh, transitioning into potentially uh, streaming full time. Of course, uh, it'll be and not streaming, uh, making videos full time, but also streaming uh, might be coming to the channel as well. Um, might be a little sooner than that, um, but um, we can hopefully start transitioning into something of that sort. Um, it'll probably be a couple of years before we actually do uh, transition full time. Um, and when we transition full time, I mean, I have been uploading videos every single day, so nothing's going to change going forward. But um, you could potentially see two videos a day, if not uh, three videos a day, and a live stream. Um, oh, we got the silver one. Cool. So we got all those. So yeah, you'll definitely start seeing uh, more happening, but also uh, maybe transitioning to live streaming uh, a few times a week over here as well as uh, uploading the videos and whatnot. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, let's see here. I do want to potentially transition to two, two, maybe three videos a day. Um, but that would only be if we were uh, going full time on this, which we're definitely not doing as of yet. See what we got going on here. Oh, can't really fail. Ah, well, that's okay. It's either getting is getting one or the other. Okay, perfect. But I got some attuned crystals here. That's huge. Um, one. Let's grab this iron. Grab the attuned crystal. Okay, we got all the crystals. Okay, so you need to do it in this. Okay, cool. That's fine. Your bounty re reward normal end of day summary menu once you sleep. Okay, cool. So we can have three, so it'll take six. Um, I'll open you up. I'll eat you. Consume. Okay, and then you. And then if I consume you, I can get this iron as well. Cool. Now let's uh, skedaddle. Leave that bounty. Let's head on out. Confirm. Do 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 do. Ooh, it's nighttime. Could we could also end up reading our book tomorrow or the next day to uh, try and uh, finish reading as well. But uh, yeah. Um, crap. We didn't water our plants. Crap. That sucks. Actually, no. We did. We did. We did. So let's dump all of this. Holy crap. I don't know what this means, but... Um... I'm tempted to keep some of the iron. The two crystals I want to keep. I'm attempting to keep the attuned iron, or the iron to smelt. You know what? Let's sell half of it. Stump the rest over here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And we could max craft you i am curious so i am going to sell one of you just to see how much it is the rocky fish i need to sell as well yep i'll go to sleep here in a second okay i just want to see how much the iron is all right down to snooze baby Unlocks the small sprinkler crafting recipe and increases the chance to receive a higher quality crop on harvest. That is huge. Increased overall chance to catch a higher quality fish. That is massive. Oh my god, we made 9,000 gold. So iron bar sells for 65. Okay, 250. So 50 each, 45. Rocky fish, 54, 130, uh, 45, and 72. Iron ore, 20 each it sells for. And 65 if you smelt it. Oh, and a lot from this. So we got 999, 601, and 400. 
Amethyst is 160 each. Fire Topaz, 160 each as well. Not bad, not bad. 9,000 gold, though. That's pretty good. That is pretty dang good. Rainy day tomorrow. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. Let's save this real quick. That is massive. Oh, we got an achievement. Or not an achievement. A mail. Extra lure. Been fishing more. I was making lures another day, and I had an extra. Rocky feather lure. Okay. What exactly does that do? Decrease fish area, but increase the chance for treasure areas to appear. Okay. That's if you're hunting for a treasure, which we're not. Um, what do we need for a small sprinkler? Iron bar. Five iron bars. Woo! They're expensive. Tree tapper, we need five iron bars as well. So yeah, we're going to need a lot of iron bars. So luckily we didn't sell or get rid of all of them. And we kept some of the iron. Okay. Uh, let's grab the watering can. And uh, yeah, I'll probably call it an episode. But we'll probably pick right back up here in, uh, in a minute. Uh, let's water this down real quickly. Okay. I do want to try and complete the other two bounties, if possible. Okay, sweet. That's done. Um, let's run up here real quickly. Oh, we got something here. Okay. A bone! Okay. We don't have our melons yet for over there. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the content. Um, if so, make sure you guys tap that like button. And uh, I think we're going to end it off there. Um, and hopefully I'll pick you guys up in the next episode. Um, hopefully you guys made it this far. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And um, subscribe if you guys are new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.